So we got a comment from one of our viewers asking if we can introduce our entire ferret business all in one go. We're just about to take our guys out to their outdoor zone over there. So perfect time to give that a shout. So Taz5913, this is for you. So we've got them all out in the grove now, so let's uh, let's run through who we've got. This one here is Pickles. She's a much lighter polka, as you can see, although this is the winter coat, so it is, tends to be a bit lighter than the summer. But yeah, you can see in her face, much lighter mask than some of the others. This guy here is male, but see his eyes are much darker. She's a classic standard sable ferret. Great structure. She's had a couple of litters as well, so she's she's actually a grandma now, I think, but um, she's doing well. Compare her here to Jalapeno, Jalapeno. She's much darker, as you can see. She's a feisty one. She's got a much dark, she's got some dark jeans in her, but, um, yeah, she's a much feisty one. You can see she sort of, every now and then, she just likes to give you a little nip, which is fine, you know. Once you get to know them, you know what to expect, and it's pretty easy just to move, move her face away if she does start to do that, but other than that, she's actually super cuddly, and she's one of the first to climb up onto your, to your lap when you, when you kneel down. One of the darker ones we've got, but because of the feistiness, and the tendency to occasionally nip. She's not, she's not part of the breeding program, so purely a pet, aren't you, love? This is her sister. She's called Mushroom. They're part of the same, uh, same litter. The litter was um, a theme for pizza toppings. So it's all the, all the ferrets in this litter. It was a big litter as well. There was twelve of them. Uh, they all got pizza topping names, so you've got jalapeno, you've got mushroom here, you've got cheddar and mozzarella and olive and various other things I can't remember, <laughs> not to be honest, but mushroom, mushroom is not quite the same as her sister, she loves her sister to bits, but uh, they're best buddies, they go around together everywhere, but um, she's, she's super docile, such nice temperament, never nips. We did, uh, because of this, and she is a lovely... She's a lovely sable colour, it's sort of on the lighter side again, not a dark sable, but good representation, good uh, good coloration on her, but because, of, because she's such a great little little girl, we tried to, uh, tried to pair her last year, she gave birth to one kit, unfortunately it was stillborn, uh, which was very sad, and she took it quite hard, quite a long time to get over, but yeah, this mushroom. This is another one of the pizza topping litter. Her sister looks very much like Jalapeno that just went past, but this one's chilly. So very close. So, again, a dark, dark sable there. Almost, um, sometimes people call them a dark self, something like that, but uh, sort of technicalities, I guess, but you can see the difference. Much darker little girl. And, if, and again, this is, this is the winter coat, so it's slightly lighter than what you have in the summer. Really lovely dark nose on her. She's, she's a lovely girl, very cuddly again. And she had a litter last year um, with Rumble and they produced some lovely six chunky boys, some Angoras in there, some semi. She's a semi Angora. But because of her colour, she's very easy to, to identify. Who else we got? Oh. Slightly different one here. A little bit older, maybe I think he's a 2021, no 2020 guy, so he's coming up for four. He's called Bean. Now he's like a perfect representation of a a sandy, sandy sable. 
super do super docile, really lovely guy. You're not finished cuddling, have you, Chili? Um, he's a great guy. He gets on well with everyone. He's had some bad luck. He got some sort of virus or toxin a couple of years back, which almost completely destroyed his liver. And uh, yeah, it was very, he was very ill, and it was touch and go whether he would live at one point. His blood tests were pretty awful. We had to syringe feed him for a long time. But um, there's a video on that in the uh, in the channel. But he came through that, so uh, we were very pleased, and uh, he's very pleased with it. And then last summer he had a bit of a had a bit of a uh, a meeting with one of our cats, and uh, they were fighting over some food. And unfortunately, cats have very strong, uh, very sharp claws, and um, they just lashed out to try and get him off the food or whatever. And uh, he ended up with quite a nasty laceration under his um, his armpits, and uh, had some scratches, some some scratches on his neck and things. So. Didn't need stitches, but um, it looked pretty pretty gory. But you got over that as well, didn't you? So, yeah, he's been through the wars, but he's happy enough now. Who else we got? This is Yazoo. We've had a couple of videos on her shorts recently. Uh, she's she's currently in the process of uh, breeding. Hopefully, she's pregnant. She has been paired with with Bogus. She's a little bit dinky, you know, she's on the smaller side, not a small Jill, but she's a great, um, great polecat colours, really, really striking uh, dark aspects, and that's why you can tell her different from, uh, from Mushroom, she does have that slightly different, uh, slightly darker mask and slightly darker nose, and each of her points are that bit darker, so yeah, she's quite, looks very similar if you're not but of course, you know, all parents can tell, them, tell their children apart, can't they? So, yeah, she's just on her way out of season because she has been bred and now we're monitoring her weight to see whether how well she's doing. She's a hybrid, um, which is a half European polecat and half ferret. So she's a hybrid polecat ferret. Right, up you go. You can see in the background there. A couple others, just try and go and get them. Come say hello. This is Twiglet. He's our only chocolate colour, so he's not a sable nor is he a sandy. He's a sort of a milk chocolate colour in between. So we call them chocolates, he's a sable because he's got the sable patterns, he's got the mask and he's got the points on his legs and his tail. So he's, but uh, yeah, lovely colour, quite unique. And he had a little bit of a story as well, because like, like Bean does. He, uh, he was about to go, he had a home lined up and uh, he was about to go um, uh, but at the, vet, the last minute, the vet, with a stethoscope, thought he heard a, a heart murmur, and uh, yeah, that can be a lifetime of medication if it was it did exist. So didn't want to burden that with the new, new owners, so we kept him here. But in the end, he uh, he didn't have it anyway. It was it wasn't apparent in any subsequent visit, so it was just a sort of a, a quirk or one-off. Like most of the boys he in this group, he's he's super docile, really cuddly and lovely. Hey boy, okay, thank you. you go walking. Oh, let's let's see. So this is Yazoo's brother. He's one of our biggest, and again, because he's the brother, he's um, a hybrid polecat. So it, you can see he's he's got that bit of extra chunk to him, more solid face, a bit more stocky, which is what you expect from from an EU polecat, but other than the a little bit more aggression to newcomers in the group, again, he isn't really showing any of the signs of uh, solitude or, or uh, aggression that you might find from a polecat. He's our um, biggest chunkiest. He's quite easy to spot. We've got another uh, polecat. We've got another sable ferret um, in the group, and uh, 
try and find him, but he's he's very different. Um, he's yeah, he's super cuddly and probably probably the most the most attention grabbing. Well, not attention grabbing, but climbs up on me like this one's doing. <laughs> just wants to sit on your knee, go in my pocket. Really, it's where he just loves to live. So yeah, he's a great character. This uh, this one here is Binky. She's uh, she's a Jill that we brought in from an outside uh, ferret tree, and we're hoping to pair her with uh, Rumble this year. But she's not she's not coming to season yet. She's she's very cuddly as well. She does not like these two don't get on very well, Bourneville and uh, and Binky, but uh, they do all right, and they they just seem like you're going after her. Well, they do all right. They just tend to keep away. The benefit of having space is they they can keep their distance when they want to. She's gone almost polar white now, a little polar bear. But um, so Binky has started off with a lot more silver on her. She uses a silver jill. She does have the flex of silver. You can sort of see in around her. Um, but as with all whites. They fade to white over time because that's what the genes tell, tell the coat to do. Uh, but in the winter, in the summer, sorry, she has a bit more, a bit more grey or silver to her. She's super, she's super docile. She loves cuddles. Here's another two we got for you. This is, this is a brother and sister duo. Uh, we've got Sandy here. She's, well, sandy coloured, hence the name. A little bit unoriginal, but she's probably our, one of our smallest jills. Very slender, just what she's like. But uh, super cute for it. Very active. And uh, yeah, she's like the gran and the great gran to a lot of these guys run, running around here. And. Uh, which is the only Sandy Jill we've got, so pretty easy to spot. It's her brother, Nicol Muffin. He's more of a, he's quite a light sable. A lot more of a polecat shape than Bourneville. It's Bourneville. What I mentioned earlier, sort of see the difference between them. Much more chunk to this one here, the polecat. European polecat than the, the traditional ferret here, the size of their faces and their structure. Are they get them well enough. Sorry, nothing, you're bored of this. Um, he's a great guy, yeah. You know, we love nothing, well, we love them all, but that's how you can tell him. Okay, on you go, bud. So here you go, five sable gills from light to dark. Lightest pickles, mushroom. Who's next to the lightest? Woo. Pickles, mushroom, yazoo, jalapeno, and chili. Boring hogs. It's boring sitting around for videos, but I want to get out and about. All similar ish. Easy enough for me to identify. Okay, so that's everybody in this group, but um, there's still a couple of studs, and uh, obviously they can't live with these guys during breeding season because uh, they're sending chaos. So uh, let's go over to the uh, main stud area and uh, check those two out. Okay, so here we are in the stud zone. We have two boys currently living in here. Super stinky boys oh. and uh, they're okay living together at the moment but um, quite often at the height of the season they, they don't fight now, for some reason these are pretty good together they've been best mates since birth but they do uh, get a bit randy and drag each other around by the necks so we often have to then spit them up but at the moment they're best buddies they're managing their season their rut 
well easy to tell apart really because this one is one floofy hairy boy he's a full angora stud named rumble or rum uh, there's plenty of videos on him on our channel but uh, yeah oh, he's lovely even now he's in rut he's got time for at least a little bit of a cuddle before he goes on sort of helps that I'm smelling quite a bit of uh, the, the gills that are in season anyway so that's Rumble hey boy uh, and then his buddy Bogus Bogus looks a bit like Bean that we described in the other group but Bogus is uh, being used as a stud at the moment he's bigger got a bigger set slightly heavier than Bean so they are they would seem similar together but uh, it's relatively easy to tell them apart he's super cuddly again I mean he's quite anxious and, and looking out for, for girls because he is heavily in rut and uh, probably smells the worst of the two at the moment but uh, yeah just like a little bit of a cuddle and maybe why well, you just like to sit there and smell me all day just sit in my pocket Rumble's probably what we would refer to as light chocolate, very light chocolate, you know. Sandy tend to have this orange undertone to them, like a yellowy sandy colour, whereas uh, Rumble doesn't have that. It's, uh, it's far more of a, a natural, neutral tone, no, no yellow to it, you can see them together there. So yeah, maybe we call him a light chocolate or there's various other names in the breeding community, but uh, there's no rule. It's just uh, whatever you think uh, best describes. Okay, so I hope that was interesting. I love talking about ferrets, introducing my ferrets, so uh, it was interesting to me, but uh, they all have their unique characteristics just as much as they have their unique colors and their unique temperaments. But. Uh, they're all great animals, they're all great pets, and uh, we love them all the same. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe and try out some of our other videos.